All right, guys, how are you? This is the Commerce Kid, iMediaDevices.com is the website. So, guys, listen, uh, this is the new version. If you purchase on or after uh, February 13th, this is the version you're going to get. This is with the new version of the software, which is 17.0. There's been some changes that have been made. Certain things are available, certain things are not available. In terms of the design, same great add-ons, same great content. The design is a bit different. All right, guys? So just pay close attention. We did a little bit something different this time. We gave you several options for setting up your Fire Stick purchase from our uh, website. So what I've done here is... um, is uh, I'm, I'm actually running the new version of the software on an NVIDIA Shield. However, uh, this is an Android device like your Fire Stick or your Fire TV or, you know, any other Android device. Uh, so look and feel options, same thing. Uh, you guys saw when I started the uh, software, uh, there was a splash page and it mentioned to give it five minutes before you start using it now obviously I've already done that for the purpose of shortening this video but you definitely want to do that Uh, give it five minutes even when you start to see the posters of the movies like you see in my screen now you still want to give it five minutes just to make sure that things update if you see failures folks it's okay just move forward as long as you're able to get your great content you know, add-ons do have issues sometimes and don't get updated as frequently as they should. Uh, but the major ones are good. They'll always be good. Uh, and if they're if if they are ever experiencing problems or ever not good, uh, you know, reach out to us. Uh, we'll definitely upgrade or restore uh, your device. All right, guys, so this is how you're going to receive it. This is where you're going to end up being after you give it the five minutes. Um, So I'm just going to go quickly and show you some of the changes. And now this is what you see here. These are your, your, you know, your in-theater movies. Uh, This is just a quick method of access. You see something you like, just click on it. Uh, and it will immediately start from there. Now I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to uh, uh, watch a movie, obviously. Now it's still going to give me the list. Uh, this is going to happen whenever you select any movie. Keep in mind, folks, try not to go for the first one. Go two or three down. Uh, if you ever get a prompt where it's asking you to go to a URL to pair, it's up to you. Just cancel out. Hit the, hit the uh, back arrow on the device and go down one or two more until you find a a source that doesn't ask you that, all right? So, again, uh, this is a quick method of accessing, you know, in theater movies. This is what's set up uh, on our devices. Uh, But what you can do is you can go to movies if you want. That's going to take you directly to the Exodus add-on. And from here, you can browse. Think of it as a computer with folders. You can go to search, you know, search movies, search TV shows, search people within movies or people within TV shows. Uh, You can pick by category, Uh, you know, go go to movies, Uh, you can by genres, year, people, all that stuff. So you you get the drift. You can go into the add-on directly and uh, access it from there. Now with the submenus, you don't see them unless you hit the down button. So you hit the down button, you see the the submenus pop up. You hit the up button, you're back at the main menus. Down button, submenus. You still have the same exact submenus you had before. Genres, latest genres, in theaters, Oscar winners, all that stuff. Search, box sets, uh, and the different add-ons, obviously. Keep in mind that if you're looking for TV shows, all the movie add-ons have TV shows. Some of the movie add-ons that you see here uh, may even have some live TV channels, some additional content. So you definitely want to poke around here. Take your time. iStream is a great add-on. 
so you definitely want to go for that. Mutts Nuts, another good one. Navi X, Phoenix, and so on. So definitely want to poke around. Uh, you know, get to know the add-ons. Click around. Think of it like a computer. Uh, you know, file like uh, file folders, and you just keep going further and further in. All right, guys. Um, that's TV shows, live TV, same thing. Down arrow, same great sub menu you have before. Up arrow, you're back at the main menu. Sports, same thing. Music, same thing. Kids, same thing. So this is how you're going to get the stick. Uh, adult, same thing. Folks, you have multiple add-ons. If some of the add-ons don't work, uh, just move on to the next one. It happens. Uh, it's just the way of the world with this thing. And uh, just keep in mind that everything is 100% free. So uh, nothing can be 100% guaranteed. All right, guys. Um, so that that this is how you're going to get it. This is the interface. The main menu options are also clickable. Uh, so you definitely want to explore those. Um, and that's it. Look at my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. It's the Commerce Kid. iMediaDevices.com is a website. Please look at my other videos. That, 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 that my other videos is going to show you how to make changes to this default config. We have three interfaces now. This is the default one. This is how it comes. Check out my other videos so you can see uh, how to change it to the uh, to the other two. Uh, looks that you might like. All right, so we got something for everybody. I'm a label. I'm the Commerce Kid, and thank you very much for watching. Take care.